You know what we like about our field trip segment? It gives us a chance to show you how communities really turn Friday nights into a weekly tradition. Now, Chris Field is at Lakeland at Bryant Stadium, the home of the Dreadnoughts, and that always draws a huge, loud, vibrant crowd. And Chris, I think you might need earplugs after this one. Ben McCroy's first of multiple touchdowns signals the cannon. Keeper of the cannon, Randy Gilbert. Randy, how much fun do you have firing off that cannon? The cannon is not as much fun as just the scoring, right? Because I fire it any time we score, whether it's a safety, extra point, <laughs> field goal. So that's the fun because if I'm, if I'm staying busy, that means we're going to be successful. The decommissioned Navy bell rings constantly against Tenorock. When do you ring it? Anytime we have a good play and they do a touchdown or they get a first down. Just like that. <laughs> Still in the first quarter, the Titans fumble. Devontae Gilmore recovers for Lakeland, and yes, he does score. Ten-year-old Brett gets a workout. What is your responsibility here tonight, Brett? To run the flag down the field when they get a touchdown. You're going to um, be sweating a lot tonight. Probably. <laughs> 37-0, Lakeland leads after one quarter. Andy Mostowski, ski, dresses for success for every Lakeland game, home or away, for nearly three decades. Andy, you of all people should know, what is a dreadnought? It's a battleship. Awesome. Yeah, it's a battleship. <laughs> Head coach Bill Castle celebrates his 400th game with another dominating Lakeland win. Lakeland fans truly love the tradition here under the Friday Night Lights. Six state championships and counting. I think she's still on I-4, working her way back. Thanks, Chris. If you have a field trip idea for Chris, all you do is send her an email. Go to myfoxprep.com. Look for field trips. You will see that email link. Again, she is simply looking for awesome high school football stories. It could be on the field. It could be in the town diner. It could be anywhere. I'll tell you that right now.